Yeah. 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 You're going to fist bump again? How many yeah, times are you going to fist bump yeah, on the camera, man? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, glad to be back. Uh, so, I'm Rashawn. This is uh, Cousin L, or L. Yeah, Bogey. L, Cousin, whatever yeah. you want to call me. Yeah, we I mean, yeah. Nah, nah, Don't disrespect me now. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, uh, yeah, so we're back for the second episode of uh, Charlotte on the Scene Podcast. What's episode two, we made it to two? We made it to two. Uh, I didn't think so. I ain't going to lie, bro. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I didn't think we were going to make it to two. I thought the one was one and done. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing around. Yeah, nah, man. So, what's up, man? So, so what did you do this weekend? How was your weekend? It was good, man. Um, you know, uh, I sat in the house. I got a little cold or whatever. I don't know if you hear it or whatever, but um, yeah. I mean, hold on, bro. I got, listen, I got them cough drops, bro. You know what I mean? My sister hooked me up. Ludus. Ludus yeah. Cough you know, you know, I got and look, these. And look, if you ever had a Ludus cough drops, you know, a lot of y'all never, ever really had a cold. Y'all just like, <laughs> having these damn, these damn candies. She's like candy, yo. For real. Like, for real, bro. I'm about yeah, to especially the wild cherry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The wild Mm-mm. cherry. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So, yeah. so yeah, so what else you do this weekend? Uh, What's your weekend? Uh, but the weekend, the weekend started off early because okay. of the, um, I went to the, the thing with the fall colors. Yes, yes, yes. And I went there. And How so, did you enjoy um, that? That was nice, man. Yeah, it was crazy, right? Yeah, I finally seen what Charlotte got to offer. What's okay. up, Charlotte? Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, hold on. Okay, okay. Charlotte. Yeah, take a sip. Okay, yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Charlotte. Mm. Shout out to Antoine, man. Mm-hmm. You Antoine and Antoine. Bryant. Shout out to Antoine. Like, Herb Gray and Felicia. Yep. Herb Gray and all that. Mm-hmm. I, I hollered at Herb Gray. Mm-hmm. I had him laughing. Mm. I was like, yo, me and my sister, because I'm new out here. I'm yeah. like, you, every, the events I go to, man, they treat you like the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Now, Herb, Herb is definitely the mayor. Herb yeah. is the mayor of a lot of cities, but Herb is definitely the mayor. Um, yeah, it was a great event. Yeah, um, yeah. He liked that, though. Yeah, shout, fun, man. We had yeah. a good time. Yeah, ladies. Shout, oh, man. Yeah, ladies. All right, man. Now, now, now I'm seeing what Charlotte's about. I guess yeah, I've been so, on the road a lot. So, so I don't it, was, really... it was good. It was good. Good, good, clean girls. Good, yeah. good church girls. Or yeah, what? nah, they was. It was some church girls there. It was, <laughs> nah, but they was. They was in the building, man. They was. They was definitely in the building. The vibes was great. The vibes was crazy. Uh, the fellas. The fellas. The, you know, what I mean, they yeah, had it on. Dressed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Steppers stepped out. Yeah. The steppers stepped out. Uh, That's right. I got to step. Now I got to step it up even more. See, y'all mm. playing with me. Mm. Yeah, mm. I got to come in. See, I, mm. I, I just came regular. Now I got to do what I got to do. Mm. Yeah. Yo, shout out to and the, and the, the, the venue was beautiful. Marquee. Yeah. Upstairs, downstairs, yeah, yeah, all that. DJ on. was nice, right? Oh, it was nice. Tuck a C- Outside. Tuck a CG Road. You got to go there. Um, shout out to Tory Dandy. Shout out to uh, Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy Howard. And um, shout out to the staff. Um, excellent staff. The hookah is good. The food's good. And more importantly, the vibe was just crazy. And, it's, yeah, and it was, it was important nice. that it's on the historical west side of Charlotte. So, um, you know, that's where we are. So... Definitely uh, go check that out. Um, uh, Marquee is a, a great situation. It was a beautiful night. Yeah, a lot of good. people. And the, and the way security handled everybody and yeah, the way nice. people were moving. Yeah, it was nice. It was all right. I ain't going to hold you. It was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm under the weather and I didn't really want to go. I'm not going right, to hold right. you. I didn't really want to go because I wasn't feeling it. And then, um, you know, I was like, I got to go. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I missed the uh, I missed summer colors. And so I went to spring. I missed summer. Spring was summer classic. Summer class. Right, sorry, right, sorry, right. sorry, no. sorry, Charlotte. Yeah. You know what I mean? Apologies, I just, apologies yeah. to you. And apologies so, to you. And so I was like, I can't miss this one. So I yeah. went, and it yeah. was. You it was some, went. It's a cat right there because you, you you messed up and you you see you called. Come it on, summer, but what are you talking about cat? How did I cat? How did I cat, y'all? Like, co- put in the comments. How did I cat? <laughs> Charlotte, come on. Summer colors, man. It's a wrong name, son. It's a wrong name. Well, listen. You know what? You're messing the brand up right there. You know what I mean? Next time, you know what I mean? Next time, episode three or whatever we're gonna do. Next time somebody cap, you got to drink out, out the cup. It's like that. Okay. All right? Okay. You got a bet? It's cup clean. Is that sterile? <laughs> it is what it is, bro. <laughs> I mean, some of y'all drinking out of stuff from McDonald's and Burger King. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? So whoever capping got to sip out of this. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, so definitely, um, yeah, there was a fall cause was excellent. Um, we just wanted to give you a recap of the event, man. It was a great night, great ambiance, great people. Yeah. They um, had it on. The step yeah. stepped out. Yeah, without a doubt. And it's good seeing, it's good seeing people in a in a great light, looking good, and, and you know, yeah, it was and nice. shining. Yeah, you it was know nice. What I mean? It was nice. Yeah, man. So let's get on. We want to talk about this. What's going on with this Drake Joe yeah, Button? Joe Button? Yo, he wild right now. <sighs> hey, 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 I'm hey, from man. Jersey, man. Joe from Jersey, so mm-hmm. ah so he man. With Joe. He with Joe. I go a lot. Drake said some nine seven three things, man, and you know, uh, but you know what? Mm. Joe has a point. And Drake has a point. I see both sides. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I see 
since I've been in the music business, I see what Drake is talking about. You mm. gave up and you know, blah blah blah. But I see Joe, like, what is what is this project? It's mm -hmm. but when you have been number one since you've came out, one. sometimes it's not gonna be what everybody wants to, what you know what I mean? What, what? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He just in his bag, he just trying to trying to figure out who's his competition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Who's Drake's competition? Ain't nobody messing with Drake. You know what I mean? Drake has no competition. Yeah, so he's just doing what he want to do. If you don't like it, then buy. He's but still like, going to sell records. But like, what I like about Joey is that Joey stepped off and, and found his lane with the podcast thing. And he, had, and he, had, and he has a strong presence with that. Um, but don't, don't get it twisted. Joe Buttons lyrically is a problem. Yeah, yeah. Mood music. Uh, uh, all the mixtapes Joey Joey been on, Joey is a mm -hmm. problem. So you can't, you can't, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to ask you, the phones, you gotta turn the phones off. Yeah. Disrespectful, sir. Disrespectful. No. Oh, yeah, see? What the hell's that? What was that? I don't know. What was that? I don't know. Something just. The bottle. Oh, the bottle. All right. The bottle. What? The bottle. Oh, the bottle jerk. It's something. Yeah. Hold on. Cut. Time out. Time out. Red flag on the play. Yeah, but like I'm gonna bring that to the table too. But like, like Joey. Joey is a Joey is a Joey is a lyrical monster. Um, and I think that a lot of people don't understand. Like, like I think what happens is with different generations, you have new rappers that come out and they go through their generation, but they don't understand what the past generation has done. Joey's a problem. Joey can a, spit. Yeah, he's definitely a problem. I'm from Jersey, so yeah. we rep Joey and all that. Yeah. I'm focused, but man. You got, but, yeah, but you got to... But listen, Joey has never reached the height of what Drake is. So he doesn't... He never been there. So when you get to a Drake status, yeah. you basically you can do whatever you want. That's true. You know what I mean? And, That's true. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't judge somebody or, or try to analyze or try to say something about somebody that's been doing number ones, number one albums and all this other stuff for so, since he's been out. You see, you, see, you see Joey clap back this morning, though. Joe clapped back and got videos of Drake saying it's an honor to meet you. It's a pleasure oh, to meet you. You didn't see that, right? Yeah, you didn't see that. And he that. was like, yo, and it was it was a thing where Drake was like, you know, I'm just saying, Joe was like, you ain't gotta do all that. And Drake was like, no, but it's you're one of my and then he got another clip saying I used to rap like Joe Buttons. Oh. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you just marketing or what are we doing, man? Well, 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 look, well, look, well, look, capping is capping. So but my thing is that at the end of the day, you know, I'm put a cap. I'm gonna put a cap on this right here. <laughs> <laughs> cap is cap. So basically, you know, when you when you when you you got to have receipts. Right. Cat's got receipts. Yeah. Joey got receipts. Vote. We all got receipts. You be waiting for that moment. Waiting for that moment. When you sit here and cap for for for, for a lifetime, or not even a lifetime, for a certain amount of time. Got to cash in the receipts. A lot of brothers got receipts on you, so you got to watch who you're talking to. But Joe got to relax though, because at the end of the day, this is Drake. Yeah, I mean, this is Drake. It's champagne pop. Yeah, but hold on. But pop. Joe got to relax, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'm from Jersey, mm -hmm. and I come from a home of spitters. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, red man. Yeah, all red. that. And so yeah. at the end of the day, Joe is 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 is, is five percent of what Drake is. I mean, not even five percent, maybe one percent. And so Joe had a little bit of a run. Joe's a spitter though, and I'm not mm -hmm. disrespecting his his his, his um. His wordplay and how mm. he puts his words together, and his and a couple of songs he did, his freestyles mm. and all that. But Drake know how to do songs and do what Joe do. Okay. You know what I mean? He's a triple threat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Definitely, so, definitely. You know what I mean? And so Joe he sings, he sings, yeah, yeah all yeah. that yeah. sings, he raps, yeah. he knows how to Very put songs talented. together. And he's all an actor too. Yeah, all, whatever. I mean, yeah, he's an actor. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know mm. about the acting thing, but no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, no Drake, Drake, Aubrey, he was uh, in the show um, with Aubrey. You know what I mean, um, come on, what, is it Drake an actor? Hold on, I'm putting the cap out, bro. Drake, Drake, Drake was an actor. Drake, Drake was on the. Uh, I wish we had the show. alcohol here, bro. Yo, Drake, Drake was on the show. He was on. The, he was I think it's time for a shot. Next time it's gonna be a shot, y'all. Next time it's gonna be a shot. Drake, an actor. Drake, when? Drake, Drake, Drake what was, movie? Drake was known. He, he, he was Aubrey in that show on uh, on Disney. That's where he's known. Ah, oh, come on, man. That's what he's known. That's what I he's get it. Him. I get that. I right, I get it. He's an actor, but come on. Listen, all right. I'm gonna bring that back. I'm gonna move on that back. Cause yes, I remember. Yeah, disrespect the shit. Yeah, but hold on. I, I, I like yo. All right, I you thought, got I thought, it. I thought he was good. He was in a wheelchair. He was in a wheelchair. I know. I, I seen it. Wheel him but back. come on, come on, man. Actor for real. All right. Give me a tape. Huh? Is he Lorenz Tate? I mean, well, the thing is, he's an actor. He didn't have a Lorenz Tate role. I mean, he ain't no actor then. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> he ain't no actor. He ain't, listen, he ain't had no boys in the hood roles and no Miss Society oh, and none of that. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right.
you might, you might, you might, you might, you might, you might, Nickelodeon? I mean, come on, that acting or what? Anybody can do that. Not anybody, but. Not anybody. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 pause. Like, like, we want to stop. We'll put the stop on that. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So, uh, so basically, so uh, so it's like I said, I, did, I hope hope they settle that beef. Right. That they get over that. Um, you know what I mean? Because you know we don't need to be warring against each other. We need to work together, and you know, and everything. I'm sure they can put a great collab together out too, or even have a great uh, 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 podcast with the two together on you. So, yeah, you know, Joe's a beast, man. He knows how to. He knows how to. Uh, he has a mark and everything else. He, he knows how to do all that. He's yeah. gonna raise the bar for it. Maybe they have a little battle or something, and you know, bring right. Joe out from the dead. You know what I mean? Whatever, but. It is what it is, man. We're gonna we gonna stick to it, man. We're gonna see what that see what it ends, you know what I mean? Yo, so anyway, so I tell you, I just got back from um I was in Raleigh Durham this weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I had a great time. Um wanna shout out uh, Omar Dorsey. Um was hanging out with him this weekend. Good dude. Um we were out there, uh, I think it was there was a little brother concert out there this weekend. So I went there for other reasons, but I had a good time out in Durham. I wanna give a shout out to Durham um and everything that um and then cops says, I, I never I never knew that well I knew but I never knew that was the first Black Wall Street. That was one of the first Black Wall Streets mm -hmm. besides mm -hmm. um uh Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm sorry. I've been you know, it's been a long day. But long, you long weekend. It was a it was a great it was a great event. Um and it was good people out there, I had a good time. And um there's a lot of uh nice things you can do out in Durham as far as going out there. Um there's a lot of colleges out there. I was on Central's campus this weekend, never been Central, I went to Morgan. I was in a Central's campus on Morgan Homecoming, mm -hmm. um, but it was cool. Um, and Duke is there. North Carolina's not too far. The Research Triangle's right there. Beautiful. And if you go right in the middle of the of the city, um, you have the Durham Bulls uh, minor league uh, baseball stadium. Okay. There. So you know it was it was, it was a great time. Um, and we and we had a and we had a we had a good time. So. Yeah. You make me look crazy. I'll make you look, look crazy. Me look crazy. You're looking at me to make me say something. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. pig Latin. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. Like, listen, you're going to have me looking crazy, man. Nah, man. <laughs> so we was talking earlier about uh, the Mexican 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 Mental health and things like that, you know. Mm -hmm. We just want to touch it. We always touch and have a little health right. section or whatever with um with uh with brothers. So um, like I was telling somebody, you know, like um how like a lot of um. Black men don't like to have the discussion of how vulnerable they are, or you know, or we don't tend to let our feelings be. I guess we don't tend to be. We tend to not let our feelings out with other with other brothers or whatever because we don't want to seem like we're vulnerable. And our culture teaches us to always be strong, always be uh, always be of of, uh, of of a strong character, a moral character, and not let us know that we're vulnerable in certain ways or going through certain things. So, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's it's very very true. Um, as a man, as a man, nobody wants to, uh, you know, show show your show your vulnerabilities. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's rough, man. Mental illness can come all types of ways. It comes yeah. from childhood. It comes from how you were raised. It comes mm -hmm. from certain things that happen in your life, things mm -hmm. like that, relationships, all kind of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. It just come. It comes from out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Death. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, we come from a lot. Most of us come from. An area in their lives where, you know, what I mean, black men and, and, and women die early, things mm -hmm. like that. They don't know how. Nobody ever got, um, you know, consulted for that. Nothing. Mm -hmm. that. So, it's bad, man. It's it's real. It's it's a real thing. Absolutely, it's a real thing. Yeah, it's like um, like I was talking. Um, my best friend called me this weekend, and we were talking, and I didn't know what he was going through, and I didn't know. He, I mean, he knows what I'm going. I was been going through whatever, but like we were talking, and uh, we were, you know, he told me like he was in a dark place, and I was in a dark place, and just like. Sometimes and like just having the faith to get out of it, but then having the conversation of people right. to um, actually just reach out to you and build you up. Um, I think it's very important. Like if you have somebody, if you see any signs where somebody is not feeling, you know, a certain way or whatever, or if you don't see them like being regular, you got to reach right. out because um, it can, you know, you don't know what somebody's going through. Like I think I think I just saw a guy uh, over here in Charlotte. They were talking about in the barbershop. Dude went in there. They gave him the wrong change. Mm. And uh dude shot the clerk up. Wow. And I was just like, and we were talking about it in a barbershop, and it was like more so like, was that warranted or was it because he was going through something? It, that, that was the last straw. Right. That mm -hmm. had to have been the last straw. That was it. Over change? That's it. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you don't know where somebody's at. You don't know if you're going to be in a certain spot or whatever and you get in an argument with somebody. You don't know what, where their mind's at. That's right. what leads to a lot of violence. Yeah. Somebody's on a different level than what you are, a different frequency. Mm -hmm. And you deal with them and they... They they hear and you like yo. I think it's a regular argument. They come back and, and they, they do they do, right. they do something to you. And um, like I got I got a um a lot of friends. We really family. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We grew up together since um since childhood, mm -hmm. grade school, right? Mm -hmm. And one of my one of my one of my bros lost his son some, a couple years ago, and the only other son he has is in Morgan State, and they got a situation down there. Yeah, it's, it's so true. now yeah. and now and now his you know I mean he's he's worked his way up to being. Okay with life and mm -hmm. okay with not necessarily okay with what happened, but just dealing with everything. Right. You know, what I mean, getting his mental back together, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then that whole thing just spun him out of control because his son's in Morgan State, mm -hmm. and 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 that's the only son he got. And so now he's in a, his mind's in a frenzy, and we had to we all had to talk him. You know, what I mean, talk you know talk you know, you know talk have him yeah talk him down mm -hmm. and have a conversation with him as brothers though mm -hmm. as, as 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 bros we have we all how many. It's like sixteen of us that was in a in a in a group chat. We all just talked him down and and it talk you know got his mind right you know and yeah. I've been mean, you know talking about things like this, but this is real. This, people, this is some real stuff, man. You know what I mean? Like everything you see is somebody getting shot on cam um, on TV or on on um, social media, and, and people just scroll past it and all that. But it's a whole bunch of other stuff that goes on um, beyond that. It's families that's crying. It's people, it's people that's, that's, that's going through a lot of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. And then other things trigger that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so shout mm -hmm. out to my family though. Shout out to all my bros, man. We, uh -huh. we got him right. And, uh, you know what I mean? He's going to be okay. Well, I'm glad he is. And, and definitely, um, we want to, you know, I know to, to the victims at Morgan state, you know, we definitely, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a Morgan guy and, um, a lot of family out there. It's homecoming week and I didn't, I didn't participate in the um, festivities out there. Um, but, um, Definitely want to give some love out to my Morgan family and um, uh, everybody I know that you know that that um, that it affected and everybody that was affected through it. Uh, thank God there were no fatalities in the situation, but Absolutely. we got to calm down on this violence. I mean, it makes no sense for us to be doing this, um, <clears throat> and we gotta we gotta change the frequency. You know, what I mean, I don't I don't I'm not a proponent of violence, and you know, like mental health, like even going through things like we talked about it earlier, like sometimes. You know, you lashing out at people, not knowing it's displaced anger. Right. Displaced anger is a big thing in all communities, not just Absolutely. our community, but all communities. And we need to actually sit here and look at it from a situation of how do we sit here and intervene in that situation? How do we sit here and and and, and give ourselves an outlet to talk or speak or, or have something to um to uh, to get off our chest? You know. So. Um, and I, right now, I'm going to pivot to get off my chest about my damn Giants because my Giants are horrible. Trash. Yeah, we don't, do you want to talk about that? My giant, my New York Giants are trash. I mean... You saw, you saw, you saw a Dimes beefing with Dabo on the, on the, on the sidelines? Listen, man? I give Giants 30 seconds at this time because I don't even want to do it. Okay. okay. I really want to do it. What well, are we say, talking about? We're talking they say, about... They say, they say Saquon ain't playing, ain't playing <laughs> I mean, against the Dolphins. Bro, it's not even... I didn't I chalk it up already. Well, you chopped it up to? I chalked it up. I chalked it up to... You chalked it up. I, I, I just done Mentally, so, I checked out. Checked out. I'm, I'm so looking. I'm looking for draft picks and so everything. You, 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 you made yeah. a source. You're looking at the front door. Yeah, I'm looking at the front door. That's my song back in the day. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at the front door. That's my joint, man. Yeah. We, we, we talk. We, we talk every night, but that's not. Now all is wrong, bro. We fight every night. We fight every night. Yeah, we fight on. every night. Now that's, that's not coaching. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Really. <laughs> Yeah, that oh, was my joint. That oh, was a big record. Man, shout shout out to Large Professor. Yeah, that was that was, that was original. You know what my other joint was? Uh, you're faking the funk. Nah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. You see? Nah, 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 see, nah. Hey, Drake, you need them, need them type of songs, bro. Like, Yo, what we bring doing? Somebody, somebody, somebody do a sample of faking the funk. That <laughs> yeah. was that was killing 92 yeah. in the summer. Yeah, what that we was doing, killing, man. Hip hop, man. Like, yeah. Everybody just doing what they want to do. But the Giants are horrible. And you know what? No cap. Panthers are not doing too good either. I mean, Panthers I'm going to throw this draft. one over here. Yeah, I mean, listen. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. And listen, I go see a game and anything like that. Right. I have to be some type of a fan because I live out here and I want to go to games. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Panthers, I mean, what are we doing? I mean... Are we gonna have a season where we we gonna we gonna get to the well? They're obviously the in the playoffs. They're obviously the, the rebuilding stage. I mean, rebuilding. Well, how long well, though? There's a lot of bricks. <laughs> a lot of bricks. All right. Well, we going a lot of bricks. But I ain't hating. I love the Panthers. <laughs> I'm a Giants fan. I love the Panthers. Uh, but um, yeah, that's that's no cap. They're in a situation to where 
they are going to be re- rebuilding and uh, going forward. Right. So, um, you know, we'll, they'll, they'll, I'm sure you're sure they'll figure it out. Uh, mm-hmm. Preseason starts soon, too, with the Hornets. Yeah. Uh, base, so I, 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 NBA's here. NBA's coming. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a couple of months. I still ain't, I still ain't re-up on my tickets yet, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know you ain't going to re-up? I don't I know. I mean, NBA's here. I seen a little bit of... I, look, I seen um, my man from the Timberwolves, the point guard. What's his name? Uh, he's nice, man. Uh, listen, I, I can't even think of his name. But uh, you need some prevention. <laughs> hey, but I need a refreshment. <laughs> well, uh, no, Dame, so Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard got traded. Did he get traded? I thought Damian Lillard got traded. He's getting traded. He's getting traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. So there's a rumor. He's already about traded. He's he traded. He's yeah, gone. He's gone. He's gone. So he's that's gone. that's that, that happened. But the Celtics. Shout out to my Celtics, oh, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You already know what we got, and we done. We got a, we got a four banger yeah, right there. Yeah. Y'all got some large ass contracts. <laughs> out the matter. Man. Listen, yeah, we projected. We number one right now. To projected to go all the way. Y'all always project. Y'all like a, y'all like a Dallas Cowboys. Y'all project yourselves every year. <laughs> nah, they didn't. Nah, do shit. I mean, listen. What's, what's the last time you? Won this is a real game? team, though. Uh, the other teams, team. was, the mother teams, was, uh, no, the real, the real, the real team was with the, tri- the, the, the the first, the first big three. Yeah. yeah, that was good, and we got injuries and stuff like that. That's why we didn't win the multiple. So, 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 mm. so, so, you got Boston going all the way, all the way. Did he gonna beat my Knicks? Knicks, <laughs> your, your Knicks. Who they got? What, what they doing? Yo, we got young Knicks just stuck in the mud. We got, we got, we got Knicks just stuck Brunson. in the mud since the seventies, man. I, I, but I don't. I, but, but like they, they, they got Jalen Brunson. They, they <laughs> all, right, all right, talk to me. Talk to me. Two seasons. Two or three seasons from now. Talking, they don't got it. You know it. They don't got it. You're talking Look, real you got spicy. The right You're talking real spicy. Bro, they don't have it. They didn't got it. Uh, uh, the Knicks? Uh, Come on, man. You know it and I know it. Look back. Niggas, you know they ain't going nowhere. Yeah, they ain't you going nowhere. You already know that. I'm glad you admitted that. They ain't going nowhere. Knicks ain't going to damn place, man. You get two caps for that. Yeah, yeah. I got another one over here, too, bro. You're going to give me three. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, yeah. Knicks ain't going to damn place, bro. You get three. Yeah, exactly. Have that sit over there on your side, man. That would have been three shots for you, bro. Three shots. Yeah, you'd have, been, you'd have been nice right now, man. Yeah, we're gonna bring that to the table, y'all. We're gonna have some fun over here. Yeah, but um, the, the, the NBA, the NBA is, go, is kicking off. Um, NFL, we're gonna see what it do. Um, we're gonna, we gonna, you know, we ain't gonna talk too much about it because we still, you know, what I mean, they got, st- you know, it's, it's a couple of teams that's in the, in the mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, in the playoff hunt. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what that do. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, we'll figure it out. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I think um, it's gonna be a great competitive season. One thing I like about the NBA and everything else is that. A lot of stars are spread out through different teams. So when the stars are spread out through different teams, you get to see different events. I mean, you get to see different games right. that are going to pop off. Right. Um, so, you know, that's, that's cool. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, so we're going to end it like this. I was at the spot the other day, and um, I, bought a, you know, I bought a few females drinks. And what do you think about buying females drinks and things like that? So... <laughs> what do you mean? Like, so you mean like buying them drinks? Like, what do you mean? Like, so you, you out... You buy yourself, you single at a bar, and you buy a female a drink, you buy a couple of females a drink, and do you expect something out of it or? Nah, not at all. Why do, so why do, why do men buy females drinks? Well, to, just to break the ice. Okay. That's what I do. Why, why are you trying to break I'll, the ice? Why well, I'm trying to break the ice? Because yeah. you come into the, you, you're coming up there talking, uh-huh. and you're at the bar or whatever the case may be, or you had a situation where there's alcohol and things like that. Right. They're standing there by the bar. You right. ladies want something to drink. My name is, you know what I mean? Right, right. My name is right. L, what's up? Like, you right. know what I mean? Things like that. Yeah. You say, you say my name is L. It's like, you say, like, like L. Quick. Yeah, my name, my name is Big L. Ah, see, you hey, hey, how you doing? Nah. <laughs> I ain't even like that. He your man without the problem. <laughs> Yeah, see? Yeah, look, 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 honestly, now, I'll tell you right now, like, I've been, when I, when I was single, um, back in the days or whatever, I used to go out and, and buy drinks or whatever, um, but I never, but like, with me, I think, like, when a female, when a man buys a female a drink, I think he's supposed to, he, he is ex- expecting something, right? I, I think nah. sometimes. Nah, expect what? A number? Like, what? I, I mean, don't expect it. You don't expect it, so you just do it for love. Nah, we ain't doing it for love. Like I ain't walking around just handing out drinks like I'm so, Santa Claus. So, so is that your love language? <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like we like that. We're not gonna do that. Like, if I see something I like, right, or I'm interested in, right, right, right. right. Once the combo starts, I know if it's gonna be around too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If gonna, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, I holler at you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or. It could just be here. We exchange numbers or whatever, or yeah. IGs. That's a new thing. We exchange IGs IG. or social media things DM. or whatever, DMs, whatever. Hop on the DM, and that's it. You know what I mean? But you know, I mean, 
that's what we're doing, bro. Like, that's what it is. Right. I mean, what, you don't you don't buy the white on drinks? Like, you, you just, like, that's just what you do? Uh, well, back in your back in your college days, I mean, whatever the hell you talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy nobody's drinks. They buy me drinks. Nah, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. Like, I see. I mean, listen, man, stop. They buy me stop. Come on, man, you're going to be drinking. I have four cats. <laughs> Come on, what we doing? Y'all already know what it is. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> bro. bro, look at look at this line up right. Hey, bro. Listen. Bro, look at that. Look at this. Look at that right there, guys. Look at that. Yeah, I got four caps. Yeah. I definitely lost today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If we had four. the we had the sauce with that, he'd be he'd be done. He'd be he we'd be going home, he'd be leaning. Nah, I'm not listen, I just think at the end of the day, I don't I'm not like for me, like for me, I feel like you know, like I will if I meet if I'm, I I buy, I buy people drinks, so I'll do that. But like if it's if you know my character, if you know how mm -hmm. I move or whatever, mm -hmm. people always you know help me out. You know what I mean? It's like I help other people out, but it's a good right. thing. You know what I mean? I love I love um, being around great people. All right, so you, you ain't buying no drinks. I'm gonna buy a few drinks. You know what I mean? But I ain't listen. I'm not like I said. I'm not Santa Claus, and I ain't no listen. I'm not over there. So what drinks you buying? You buying, you buying vodka? You buying Grand Moyer? You buying bottles? Oh no. It depends what the moment is, though. That's right. I've been around. You do, you do, you do. It depends on the moment. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Well, so it's settled. Wrap this up. It's settled. Yeah. So I four four caps today. I lost. Yeah. We might have to. We might. And listen, in the comments, do y'all need Ra to go ahead and start the show off next week if we make it to three? With with doing with doing four shots to the dome or something like that. Four shots to the dome. Yeah, I mean, like, look, we gotta pour them out. That's just a like that. that's a LL album. Fourteen shots. To the yeah, dome. we need to do it just like this. The four shots to even start the day. Yeah. You know I mean, we need that. Yeah, we, we need, need that. that. We need that. Right. No, definitely. It's a pleasure to have you guys on episode two. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we got episode three coming soon. That's right. And we're gonna start. We're gonna really start having guests on here too as well. So get ready for that. Um, thanks for being with us, Uncle L. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle L, cousin L. God cousin damn, L. Uncle L. You said like Uncle L, L. L. day, baby. Because I bought a, like I bought a girl day. a drink, man. It's Fourteen Uncle shots L. to the dome I'm, over here. So Fourteen Jay, shots to the dome over here. Come on, man. <laughs> Peace out, Charlotte. Yeah, we'll see y'all soon. We love you guys, man. All right, no doubt. All right.